Well, hey guys, we're back down here in the dungeon again with another evaluation of a product. The following program contains coarse language and nudity. Viewer discretion is advised. Now, last night I contacted Oxbeam and they told me that based upon the video performance of last week's video of doing the product evaluation, there was a good amount of traffic of you, people who went and checked out the item, and there were 37 purchases through that link. I just set myself up as an Amazon affiliate. The turnover was so high with the last video, they decided to send me another one. Now hopefully you guys don't get mad because you bought those ones and then you're going to see something better here. So, you know, hey, sorry. This is a 32 inch art LED light bar. And you can see I've already put it together and unboxed it and stuff. It's pretty much boxed the same way. And there's other videos on YouTube here that you can check out. Going to take this outside and I'm gonna put it on the Jeep um, just mount it up on the Jeep for right now because it's kind of it's getting a little dark and I don't want to be out there working on this thing tonight so I'm not really too sure where we want to mount it but maybe you guys can help us out with that I don't know if I want to put it up there I mean it looks kind of like a good spot for it uh, from what I've seen um, on other uh, videos and stuff when you uh, have it turned on, the light can cast down onto the top of the hood or hit the windshield and light up any gunk that's on the windshield. So in essence, you kind of blind yourself, but you can get away from all of that by taking the light rack and moving it back more. So you create a cutoff point down the front end of the truck. So, uh, now let me go, go down and grab my battery thingy and plug this thing in and we'll look at this from a distance. Okay, well, I got the little LED, or the battery plugged into it. I'm standing off at a distance here. I don't know. Let's walk around a little bit. Now this light bar has the diffused sections on the ends. You can see the distance, you can see the difference. Right there, you can see the two plumes on the outside. Yeah, those are, that's the flood area. And the center section are uh, spot beams. Uh. Ooh, 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 back up. Back up into the garage here. Yeah, not too bad. I can see the glare coming off of the hood. And obviously, you know, the sun ain't going down, so we're not gonna be able to light up the property or nothing. So that's one place to put it, is up top there. And that's where a lot of people tend to put theirs. But uh, I'm gonna put it down here for a second and brace it on top of those two lights. This would probably this would probably be the easiest place to mount it. So we'll probably go this route. And see, you know, they're just it's just sitting on top of those two KC lights. But we'll be taking those KC lights and putting the putting the uh, light bar on the bumper itself. That looks like a better place. Let's turn it on. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's definitely so much better right there. I like that. That's probably most likely where I'll mount it in front there. What are you doing, Nova? Kitty, kitty. Nova and Ashley. What are you doing, Ashley? Like, yeah, it's bright up there. <laughs> now, eventually, the plan is to put something inside of the center light there because I don't have anything in there. And uh, I used to, but it broke and fell out. And recently, I've been using this light right here. And that works really cool. That works really good. But this yeah i'd like to get some type of light down inside of that but i'm not really too sure what i want to do with it yet but whatever it is 
got to be mounted really good. Now for the top of the full screen machine, I'm thinking, man, I don't know, I might want to get my hands on one of those, uh, I don't know, may maybe another set of the uh, four inch 18 watts maybe. I'm not really too sure. Uh, maybe a 12, maybe a 12 incher. I wonder if they have six, six inch ones. I don't know, but yeah, I kind of like to get something up on top of that too. Now most likely what I'll do is I'll uh, do a mounting video of these LEDs later. Um, so yeah, I look forward to that. And like before, I'll leave a link down in the description where you guys can check this thing out yourself. Again, it is the 32 inch light bar that has the diffused floods on the ends and it's art. Anyways guys, I'm gonna get on out of here. Thumbs up the video, comment down below. Do you think I should put it on the bumper or put it up top with this light bar? I'm not I'm not really too sure. I mean, if I, I don't know. Uh, what do you guys think, on the bumper or up on top? And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.